Hi, my name is Brad Swarbrick and I'm the Vice President of Business Development at KMO Software. I'm going to be talking today about the benefits of multivariate data analysis. So, to start with, what exactly is multivariate analysis? When you're dealing with more than one variable, and in particular large data sets, we're talking of the order of around about 100 to 1,000 plus variables, traditional methods of analysis just don't really cut that type of elucidation of the data. Multivariate data analysis provides a set of tools which drill down to the fundamental structures. And it provides it in a way that you can see the patterns within the data. And being humans, we like to see patterns. We like to classify things. To be able to classify things into certain groups or understand that structure allows us to have better understanding of what we're measuring and from there we can apply that to industrial settings, we can apply it to research settings, we can apply it in any particular data analysis field where we're looking to fully understand what the data is trying to tell us. So if I'm using a multivariate analysis piece of software, what would I expect to see on screen? How is it presented? Typically we try to display samples as terms of their, the, how the way that they cluster with each other or the way they interact with each other. If a group of samples cluster together, obviously they've got similarities. And at the same time we're measuring the variables that contribute to those similarities. So if we've got, say, three different classes of material, the variables that contribute or work together to be able to show you how those samples cluster together, we can understand or get a much better understanding of the variable relationships that result in the samples clustering with each other. And the result of having that information displayed in front of you gives you a better understanding of your process? What, what are the benefits of that? Okay, let's think about a process itself. If I'm operating three batches, and I'm assuming that the batches are equivalent to each other, if the process is running the same time in, time out, I should have no clustering effect, should I? The whole data should be one complete cluster and show me no variability. But if batch one was here, batch two was here, and batch three was here, it's giving me an indication that I can't do the same thing twice. So I want to understand the variables that cause my samples to form separate groups and understand how to better control them in order to create no variability at all. That's one particular application. Another application is if I'm trying to make, say, a regression model, which is a predictive model of a particular property of some material or some product. Okay. I'm going to be measuring a lot of variables in this case and I want to understand whether I can make a global model. Okay. Now a global model means that I can apply this model to any type of sample. Whether the samples cluster or not is, an effect that is basically the effect. Okay. If the samples form three different clusters but I can make a predictive model to predict the property of that sample over all of those clusters everything's fine. But if I see clustering and I don't get very good regression results, it might mean that I have to develop three separate models, one for each cluster. That, gives, that basically drills down to a better understanding of what variables affect which systems and how they work to actually predicting the particular values that we're trying to measure. Now, is it right to say that this software has been used predominantly in R&D environment? Uh, and if so, is it now being used in a wider environment? We like to think so at this stage, yes, absolutely. The Unscrambler has been the standard in spectroscopic data analysis for many years. We used to do a lot of work with the early NIR analyzers, the Near Infrared Spectroscopy Analyzers, in developing calibrations in the agricultural sector. And I don't know whether we've been niched into a spectroscopic only software, but that's been our core competence. Now with initiatives like PAT, where they're looking at inline process spectroscopy, that provides an extremely good basis for our software to be used for that type of analysis. 
but the recent developments in the software have allowed us to explore a greater utilization of process variables and the fusion of process variables with spectroscopy to develop overall process models. So the overall answer is we're not just a niche company in one particular area, we've got quite a good, ex a good coverage of a, a large number of industrial applications that involve both spectroscopic process and also in the food industry we've done a lot of work with sensory, sensor metrics, which is basically trying to relate the human senses to taste, colour, touch, feel, the senses. So from a lab point of view, a lab could be in any industry sector or are there some industry sectors that are very strong or good targets for this kind of product? Como's focus has been mainly around the pharmaceutical, the energy sector, food and beverage and agricultural applications, mainly because of the spectroscopic nature. And a lot of QC laboratories now are trying to replace some of these really expensive or tedious methods with rapid non-destructive methods. Once again, near-infrared spectroscopy being one of the major applications, particularly in the pharmaceutical industry. Raw material analysis is one that I think of quite, it comes to mind quite predominantly because you you've, might have a generics manufacturer that's got over 200 raw materials coming in. Some of them come in on a regular basis, some of them only come in on a short basis. So we want to try and focus on those materials that are high volume and that are going to reduce the time it takes to get them from the warehouse into production. And this is where the multivariate data analysis comes in. There's methods in a pharmacopoeia which dictate that you need to test material A using chemical test 1, chemical test 2, uh, visual test 3, where the near-infrared analyzer takes the sample, compares it to a reference spectrum, or compares it to a reference spectral library, and says, this material belongs to this class based on past knowledge with a 95% confidence. So that's types of applications in the laboratory are quite important. And also, when you've got methods that require a lot of steps, and are quite expensive to, to perform on a routine basis, the replacement of those expensive methodologies with the near-infrared method in this case, or, or an associated spectroscopic method, can save the company a lot of time, a lot of effort, and because it's non-destructive, I'm thinking now in a biopharmaceutical case, each vial of product was worth a thousand US dollars. The testing was destructive, the ability to put this onto a spectrometer and measure it and keep it so it can be sold without affecting its quality whatsoever is a marked advantage for any company. And if a company was interested in applying multivariate analysis software but didn't have a precedent or experience with the product, what would be their next step in contacting a supplier or looking at a way of implementing this at their own environment? Companies like Camo provide extensive training courses, both publicly and in-house. And because of the domain expertise within the company, we're quite, we can quite easily adapt to your or a particular company's specific needs. Now, we might not have seen everything, but our knowledge and our experiences can help to adapt a company's subject matter expertise with their data analysis requirements. And that the way we can help bridge the gap between number one, addressing that steep learning curve that's associated with multivariate data analysis. But once you get past that, showing the benefits and realizing those benefits within the company's environment, this type of knowledge transfer from us to a, to a prospective client will help them get up to speed much quicker. The key drivers for employing this software are usually precision, knowledge of data, and also energy saving, or is there another area of this where companies can find a, a faster ROI from using the software? A lot of cases, companies are looking to do a lot more sampling, but not a lot more testing. And so the ability to combine the power of multivariate analysis with rapid process analyzers, with the measurements that are commonly coming out of a process, and monitoring them over time 
being able to adjust, this naturally leads to improved quality, naturally leads to energy reduction, naturally leads to a much more efficient process. There is, as, as noted, there is quite a steep learning curve for, in some cases, but that investment far outweighs the benefits of, or the, the non-benefits of not having multivariate data analysis in the first place. Okay, so if a customer is interested in using multivariate analysis, can they download software to run a test? Absolutely. Uh, Camo Software offers a free software download. It's available at www.camo.com. It's a 30-day free trial, and it allows you to investigate with your own data how we can open up or ex show you the hidden structure within that data. And from that hidden structure, we use subject matter knowledge, which is part of the client's knowledge base, not part of our knowledge base. And we help to bridge that gap to show that if the software is capable of doing the job, but more importantly, is the technology being used providing the information that you need in the first place. It's nice to have a spectrometer, it might be nice to have a lot of process controls and process outputs, but if they're not indicative of quality, there's no need in measuring them in the first place. And this is where multivariate data analysis can help you again. If you're measuring these things, and they're not relating to quality, it's saying stop measuring them and look for those measurements that actually do relate to quality. Brad, thank you very much for your answers. Thank you.